The ongoing tension between China and the United States, two of the world's superpowers, is reaching a boiling point. And only two big weapons can change everything – hypersonic missiles and laser technology. With the U.S. ready to counter China's threats, get ready to see a new way of fighting at sea and stick along to witness the world's eighth wonder – a special ballistic missile of the U.S. arsenal. China has been sending out a lot of warnings lately. In August of 2020, the Chinese People's Liberation Army Rocket Force launched several ballistic missiles into the northern part of the South China Sea, from spots in China, acting like they were targeting ships. This was just one of many drills that looked like a message to the United States. The U.S. likely saw these missile launches up close thanks to a U.S. Air Force RC-135S Cobra Ball spy plane flying over the Red Sea when China fired the missiles. The missiles they shot off were the DF-21D and the even bigger DF-26B ballistic missiles. The DF-21D can hit targets from 600 to 1900 miles away while the DF-26B can reach between 1,800 and 3,500 miles. That's far enough to hit American ships at sea without being in range of a counterattack. Pretty powerful, right? So if China decides to take over Taiwan, these missiles will be very important. The U.S. Navy is a big deal on the seas with the biggest ships, especially aircraft carriers. A quarter of all the world's aircraft carriers are owned by the U.S. Navy, and their total deck space is more than double that of all other countries combined. China might not even need its own carriers to take on such a strong fleet at sea. They could use their missiles to target American ships. China's DF-21D missile is even called the carrier killer in Chinese media, and it's not even as powerful as the DF-26. Both missiles can move very fast and dodge defenses as they head for their target at sea. Right now, there might not be a sure way to stop these missiles, but the U.S. needs to find one and fast. Its control of the seas is at risk. That's where the Meteor Project comes in. The U.S. Navy is working on this project to make a new weapon to deal with China's threats at sea. This new weapon will be a high-power Microwave Directed Energy Weapon, or HPM for short. An HPM weapon sends out bursts of microwave energy that can mess up or even destroy the electronics in a target. What makes this weapon stand out is its versatility. Unlike other directed energy weapons, like lasers, an HPM weapon can do different things like jamming or more destructive actions, depending on what's needed. With an HPM weapon, sailors could have more control over their attacks compared to regular weapons. Some HPM systems can also target multiple things at once, which gives them an edge over lasers, especially against drone swarms. How incredible is that? This weapon could become the Navy's top choice for dealing with China's tough missiles when it's powerful enough. The beams from an HPM move at the speed of light, making it hard for China's missiles to dodge them. They would be caught off guard before they even figure out where the threat is coming from. Plus, like other directed energy weapons, an HPM weapon has a nearly unlimited ammunition supply. Compared to regular weapons, HPM weapons don't need to be reloaded. They can keep firing as long as they're plugged in. One big advantage of the HPM weapon is its low cost per shot, which changes the game. With the rise of cheap but effective attack weapons, there's a big push to find affordable ways to defend against them. Right now, the U.S. is using million-dollar missiles to take down $1,000 drones, and that just doesn't make sense. It's even trickier at sea, where ships have limited missile supplies that can't be quickly restocked, especially when they're far from base. A recent clash between the U.S. Navy and Houthi forces in the Red Sea shows this. The Houthis have been using anti-ship missiles, kamikaze drones, and explosive-packed drones and underwater vehicles against U.S. forces. In response, the U.S. had to use much more expensive missiles to defend itself. 
So, when dealing with China's powerful hypersonic missiles and cheap attack weapons from other places, the new HPM weapon could be a real game changer for the U.S. Navy. It could not only shoot down incoming threats, but also save the more powerful missiles for bigger, more serious threats. For these reasons, and maybe more, the United States Navy is focused on building and using an HPM weapon. They asked for over $9 million for the Meteor program in 2025 and $13.5 million the year before for the 2024 fiscal year when it was called Red Cat. Why they changed the name is not clear, but the goal is still the same. But until they have a working directed energy weapon, the Navy has to make the best of what they've got, ballistic missiles. Remember when we mentioned the eighth wonder of the world? Well, it is the ballistic missiles. Whether it's offense or defense, they're a top choice for the biggest countries, like the United States, which has numerous of them. And out of all the ballistic missiles the U.S. has, one stands out for the Navy, the SM-6. The SM-6, also known as the Standard Missile 6, can do a lot of things. It can take down enemy planes, defend against ballistic missiles, and even strike enemy ships. It uses a special warhead to hit targets in the air. It's like a Swiss Army knife of missiles. It can do it all. According to Vice Admiral John Hill from the U.S. Missile Defense Agency, the SM-6 is the only thing the U.S. has right now that can take out those super-fast hypersonic threats. The SM-6 is a special missile for a few reasons. It combines parts from a few different missile types, the solid rocket booster and dual thrust rocket motors from the SM-3 series, the body from the SM-2 series, and the advanced seeker and nose cone from a medium-range air-to-air missile. This mix makes it stand out from other missiles in the standard missile family. One of its standout features is the active seeker for terminal guidance, which it borrowed from the advanced medium-range air-to-air missile. This feature lets the missile go after targets that are even beyond the range of the ship's radars, which are limited by power and the Earth's curvature. This ability to see beyond the horizon is a big part of the Navy's plan for better fire control. And when it's connected with other sensors through systems like the cooperative engagement capability, an SM-6 can take on targets from farther away than any other air defense missile before it. It proved this long-range capability in 2016 during a test, setting a record for the farthest anti-air warfare engagement in U.S. Navy history. Now, what makes the SM-6 so special? It's a 1.6-ton missile with a 140-pound warhead that explodes using radar and a contact fuse. It's got a two-stage engine, so it can fly over 110,000 feet high, almost into space, and hit speeds of Mach 3.5. That's faster than the SR-71, the fastest jet ever. Using a mix of inertial guidance and radar homing, an SM-6 can hit targets with precision up to 230 miles away. What a beast! With all of these features, it's clear that the HPM weapon from the Meteor Project won't replace the SM-6, but it will work alongside it. Both the SM-6 missile and the Meteor HPM weapon are powerful on their own. They're not perfect, but they each have strengths that make up for the other's weaknesses. Together, these two weapons can create a strong defense and offense, protecting the U.S. Navy and its ships from any kind of threat, no matter the cost, speed, size, or how tricky they are to dodge. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you think this combination of the SM-6 and the HPM weapon will give the U.S. Navy the edge it needs in modern naval warfare? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more fascinating stuff. Thanks for watching.